Welcome to FCPS All-Stars. My special guest for today is Kelly McConville, fifth grade teacher at Kemptown Elementary School. Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm glad to have you on the show and find out more about you. Yeah, thanks for having me. When people get married, they often find themselves part of a blended family. Mm -hmm. When you got married about a year ago, who did you have to open <laughs> your heart to? My 95 pound German Shepherd named Ramses. And I didn't grow up with dogs, so it was quite an adjustment, to say the <laughs> least. <laughs> um, he's big, he's energetic, and he views me as his mom, which my family finds very hilarious because I was always scared of dogs. Oh, <laughs> all right, but he's part of the family oh, now. Oh, he's definitely part of the family. But at 95 pounds, he's the size of a preteen. Can you all claim <laughs> yes. him on your taxes or something <laughs> like that? I wish, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me your husband's name. His name's Jeff. Jeff McConville. And did he ride up on this big dog <laughs> and sweep you off your feet, or how did you all meet? He probably wish he could have, because he loves his dog. Um, we actually met at the gym. He owns a personal training studio, and so at the time he was working out of a gym, and I went to just, you know, I wanted to do some different types of exercises, so mm -hmm. I thought I need a little bit of help, and he was the person that I was paired with. And we um, worked out together for about a month, I trained with him a couple times a week, and then I realized I can't do this forever. It's pretty expensive, yes. so <laughs> I said, you know, this will be my last session, and that night he asked me out on a date. Oh, okay. A man of honor will yes. wait till you're not his client yes. to ask him out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I understand that Jeff proposed to you in a very unique way. <laughs> yes. Yes, he proposed in front of my fifth grade class. And he did a lot of preparation in leading up to the proposal that I wasn't aware of. Um, he coordinated it with my principal, Chris and Canning. Um, he coordinated with my teammates because he whisked me away for half the day. So I got to leave early and they wrote my sub plans. Really? Yeah. They are awesome. They are awesome. <laughs> and then he also um, got his pilot's license. And I, <laughs> and I thought he was building me a bookshelf. So when he took me to the airport and said, open your eyes, you can imagine my surprise because there's no bookshelf in front of me. So I had always expressed, I love books, I love reading, and I always wanted like a big bookshelf that I could put everything on and uh -huh. he's pretty handy. So some days he would come um, and be in work clothes and I thought, what's he doing? And I just assumed he was building me a bookshelf, but here he was just learning how to fly a plane. <laughs> so no big deal, I guess, right? <laughs> wow, so yeah. you really can't assume anything about this man, <laughs> no. right? He's got a lot of hobbies and loves to just try new things. How so. did he involve your fifth grade class? Well, it was really neat. So I was whisked into like a fake meeting that I thought was very real at the time. And during that meeting, he went to my class and he just made like a bubble chart with them and mm -hmm. asked them what they liked about me and had it all on the dry erase board. And then when I walked back to my classroom, opened the door, my whole class was there, he was there, uh, he had a friend there that was filming it, <laughs> and other staff members just kind of snuck into the room. And um, then he basically shared some of the things that they like about me and some of the kids shared out at that time. And mm -hmm. then he just turned it into what he likes about me and got down on one knee and proposed. Oh, yeah. well that is very sweet yes. and creative. Yeah. So where does the whole pilot's license fit into this plan? <laughs> well, he had hoped to take me to a symphony that night and wanted to fly me to a symphony. Ooh. So he had tickets for the Pittsburgh Symphony and we were going to set out that night. But um, his dad also has his private pilot's license and um, said, it's too windy. She's going to get sick in the plane. <laughs> Don't do it. It'll, be, you know, it'll ruin your whole day. So. We just flew together the next day. We um, went to a local airport in Pennsylvania, parked the plane, which was crazy, and then we just went for lunch. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was so, fun. Yeah, sounds like a wonderful trip. It was. Now, you have a heart for Jeff, mm -hmm. and you have a heart for Ramses. Yes. I also have heard that you open your heart to others Yeah. through mission work. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, I've been to a couple extraordinary places. Um, for example, my last mission trip was to Guatemala, and I worked with Hope of Life, which is an organization based out of Guatemala. I've also been to Swaziland, Africa, Ooh. and I yeah, um, and I worked with One Child Matters there and Children's Cup, and I got kind of started um, by going to the Bahamas, and I went on a trip with my brother and my sister-in-law, 
um, they had an opportunity to go and I think I had always been interested in going overseas and serving so it was a comfortable way to get going because mm -hmm. I had some family there that I felt comfortable with and could then kind of put myself in an uncomfortable or you know um, a new situation I guess right yeah so we went to the Bahamas and I worked with um, kids there through a local, we did a VBS for the local community. Okay. And we also went to a Haitian refugee community um, called Peas and Mud and kind of played with the kids there. Just, we're trying to build relationships. And the one thing um, that I liked about that trip is the pastor that we went with, mm -hmm. he goes back every year. Um, he might not take the same people, but he you know, invests in the community. So he had a relationship with the pastor and um, knew a lot of the community members, which made it much nicer coming in as an outsider. Right. Yeah. Uh, what have you learned through your missions work? I just think it's, it's a great way to invest in other people and learn that it's not all about you. You know, this life that we live in America, we're very privileged and we have a lot of advantages and it's easy just to you know, go through your day doing what you have to do um, and not really thinking about others. And I think when you go to other places in the world, you see it just opens your eyes to what other people experience, which right. I think then in turn helps you in your own community. And so I definitely share my experience with my students and try to broaden their perspective and help them to realize how um, lucky they are to live here and to right. be able, fortunate they are to go to school and have a school system like Frederick County, but you know, that's not the case everywhere else and it's good for them to learn that at a young age. I agree. Mm -hmm. um, so much of our, our day to day is, is all about me. Yeah. And it's very yeah. easy to become selfish mm -hmm. instead of selfless. I so appreciate you and all of the other missionaries who are able to go out and, and do right. um, things abroad and locally. Right. And I think it's equally as important to do things within your community too. And so I really try to spend the time that I have working with my church. And this summer, um, we're actually doing a day camp. We mm -hmm. usually do a VBS, but we're trying to reach more of the community with a day camp because it's during the day rather than at night. And so it just might fit some more of um, what the community needs. And I'm going to be doing um, a sports day camp for grades one through three. So okay. I think it'll be fun, kind of stretch me a little bit, but also just be a great way to connect with the people that are local to my church. Makes sense. Yeah. Now is Jeff going to join you on some of your mission adventures? Well, he's doing the day camp with me. Okay. And then, yeah, he hopes to um, go to Guatemala. Our church goes every year. So it's similar to the Bahamas um, kind of relationship that was built with that church and the pastors in the Bahamas and here in America. Our church works with um, Hope of Life from Guatemala and we go back every year, but okay. different team members go. So he's hoping to do that. And then he'd love to be able to serve and use his pilot's license one day, um, maybe like as a bush pilot or something okay. if possible. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, he's definitely interested. Well, you sound like a really neat couple, <laughs> along with your big honking dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's big, <laughs> yes. Well, Kelly, thank you for joining me today on FCPS All Stars. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us as well. Stay tuned for our next adventure coming up next week. And while you wait, don't forget, shine on.